Hi heathens! So today's video is going to be a red and blue look as determined by Michael. I wanted to use red but I didn't know what other color so he picked blue so that it could be like an OG Pokemon look. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. So I have thrown my wet hair up. I'm starting completely barefaced. I'm a little red for some reason. Uh, but my face is clean, I am moisturized, and uh, we're just going to get on into it. So, I do want to try to use an eye primer today, not to make it last longer, but to try to prevent as much staining as possible, because I know red tends to stain the eyelids quite a bit. So, let's see. Um... Let's use this one. This is the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Longwear Primer. It's a 12 hour uh, longwear. So I'm gonna start by putting that on my eyelids and then we can move into actually applying, ew, that's just like, squirted oil or something into my eye so hold that thought I don't know if you have been able to see that from that far away but that was gross so let me see about shaking it I'm gonna put it on my hand first and then onto the eyelid it seems like it's oilier than I anticipated so, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. So, I'm actually going to layer another one on top of that and put that to the side. Because I might have to do some, like, research into whether or not that is even still good. Um, I'm actually going to take the base of my shirt and wipe that off. Because I'm afraid whatever I put over it is just going to slip slide around. And that's not exactly what I'm wanting. Um, so I'm going to go into my concealer drawer. And I'm actually going to use concealer to prep my eyelids. This is the Morphe Concealer in C2.25. Uh... That was weird. I'm just kind of confused by that, sorry. All right, so I'm just gonna put this down on each eye. It is obviously not like my best shade match uh, for regular concealer. So I tend to use this, not that I do them often, but for like cut creases and stuff like that. So I'm just putting it on my lid as a base. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy clean brush and we're going to mix that around here. And try to cover as much of my eye as we can so that we can prevent as much staining as possible. Um. I feel like there was something else I was going to say, and I have no idea now what it was, so we're just going to move right along, I guess. I don't know if you're even going to be able to tell. Here, let me close this so it's not as much of that harsh direct lighting, and then I will cut this artificial lighting up just a little. Let's see if that helps. No, I still feel washed out, but this is what we're working with today, guys. I'm sorry. So for the red, I'm going to be going into finally my blood sugar mini. Let me get it out of the package. So 
is what it looks like. And it's not like fully reds. Um, so there's a few shades in particular that we will be focusing on here, uh, which are these two, because I do want the look to be red and blue. So those are the two shades that we're going to be mostly using. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush and tap into sugarcane here, which is one of the um, like neutral mattes. And we're just going to pat that all over everything to help set this concealer. And then we will get into the actual red shades. So this is one of the reasons that I did still hope that I received uh, Blood Sugar the full size in the mystery box because this does not have all of the like red and pink shades. Why does it seem so that light outside is really messing me up. Um, <laughs> It doesn't have all of the like red and pink shades that like really make the palette. Um, it has uh, two of them. Everything else, with the exception of some of the shimmers, kind of leans neutral. Other than Coma, which is a purple. Um, so now we're going to tap into Prick, which is that lighter like orangey red. And I switched brushes. So I just have a little fluffy brush. This is a tapered blending brush from uh, Shayna B. And we are going to use this to build across and up into the crease. And get across the lid. And this is going to be, the other one was more to set the concealer. So this is really like our base um, transition shade, so to speak. <sighs> And the same thing on the side, across and then up into the crease, across the lid. These are uh, going really smoothly, which is really nice, both shades so far. Oop, got a little bit up there I need to blend out. Now I'm going to tap into Cherry Soda, which is the red, red. Same brush. And we are going to focus that on, yep, there's some fallout. That's what I was thinking. On this outer corner. Well, outer half, really. And then up into the crease as well. Try to get this as blended and diffused as the first shade. You can definitely see some of the fallout. And then do the same thing to the other eye. I'm going to try to just brush the fallout off first. That had highlighter on it! Oh man! Um, I don't know if you can see that, but like now my under eye is just fully gold glitter. Love that for me. So same thing over here. We're just taking that shade, mainly worrying about the outer half and then taking it over into the crease. I can't believe I just took a brush covered in highlighter to wipe away, <laughs> to wipe away fallout. Awesome. I don't even think it's picking up on camera how glittery my face is right now. That must have been used for a really glittery shade. Okay. So I like the way this eye is looking more than the other eye. And I have one bit of light that keeps coming and hitting me in the eyeball. So try to do 
deal with that. All right, I'm gonna try to build this eye up just a little bit more so that it matches the other side because I do like the way the other side looks more. It's not a big, big difference. I'm gonna take the highlighter brush to wipe under this eye just so that my eyes match in the glitter underneath them because now that we're here, and then I'm going to jump into my blues. So I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Sapphire Obsessions. And I think I want to tap into this blue as my primary lid shimmer. And that is just going to go on the inner half of the eye. And I don't mind if it gets underneath because we're going to be blending some of the blue underneath as well. And um, I'm not putting anything down because I do want it to blend over and into the red. I don't want it to be like cut crease sharp. I just want it to transition and then blend out together. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye. We're just going to take that into the middle. I wonder if I can take this the complete opposite direction and that piece of sun stopped hitting me in the eye. Nope, that is even worse. Okay. Bad time of day to film, huh? Because I do not have anything that I can put over that uh, window other than my blinds for this time of day. Any other time of day, I'm fine. Because either the sun is on the other side of the house and I just have, like, nice natural lighting coming through. Or, um, the sun is gone and I can just use my artificial lighting. But, this prime time of daylight, uh, just does not want to cooperate with me here. Okay. Okay. Now, my finger is sufficiently blue, so I'm going to try to wipe that off on my, yeah, my cloth. And then I'm going to take a teeny tiny little brush, and I'm going to pinch it, and I'm going to tap into that blue, and take it under the eye, like so. This reminds me of a popsicle more than Pokemon, but that's okay. All right, now I'm going to take the other palette again and find me a little flat brush. And I'm going to tap into Cherry Soda, which is that darker shade, and use that on the outer half of the lower lash line, just like that. And then the same thing on the other eye, connecting it in the middle with that blue. All right, now for my inner corner shimmer, I want to take, that's not the brush I want. Uh, there's a specific, here it is. It's like this weird, short, rounded brush. I'm going to go back into the Huda Beauty palette and take like this silvery blue here. And I'm just going to pick it up on the tip of this brush. And we're going to go right on the inner corner with that. And then same thing on the other eye. Just that inner corner. And that is it for the eyes. So for highlighter, hmm. I actually didn't think about highlighter. So let's see. No, I don't want to use that. Uh, let's use, ooh, you good? 
my Doucet Posh Powder Palette. And I'm going to tap into the upper left one, which is like this really white one here. See if I can't dig out some of that. That's just not providing the, oh my goodness, that's some level of impact that I'm wanting. Let's do a different palette. Unicorn Glow by Face Candy. Yeah, let's tap into Celestial. It's a blue. So, tap in, tap off. And then, that way it has a blue shift to match the eyes. But it's not like putting blue shadow on my face, you know what I mean? Like it still has that highlighter vibe versus shadow. I hope you can even see this video, if not it'll never go up because if the light is that bad then there's no point in uploading it. But I think it should be manageable. Let's go for mascara. We're just going to do the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes because it is within quick access and I've been using it a lot recently. We're just taking it and running it through the lashes like so. And then down on the bottom, my back is killing me all. I'm so sorry if I look like I'm making faces. I have this pain running through my shoulder blade and it will not go away. It's been there for a while, but over the last few days, it's been like really bad. Now, next eye. I say next eye like we have a few to go through. Last eye, next eye, other eye. That probably sounds better. Because then you know you've done one and now you're on to the only other. That sun is just right in my first eyeball. Whew. I wish it worked like everything else where since I can barely see, uh, I wasn't affected by the sun in my eyeball. But unfortunately, that's not how that works. I feel like this one needs a little building up to be matchy with the other. What I get for not dipping back in before starting this eye, huh? All right, and I think other than lips, we're almost done. Ooh, I'm just knocking you all around, aren't I? So, for lips. We're going to go a little neutral, and I'm going to do the Huda Beauty Demi Matte in Day Slayer. There's a lot of Huda Beauty in this video. That was unintentional. <laughs> so it's just got a regular doe foot. There's hair in it. Alright. And that is going to be our finished look. Let me take down my hair uh, so it can finish drying. And let me know your thoughts down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to see more of my content. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.